After you complete our payment here at Name Hero, uh, you're briefly asked a quick survey uh, to see how we're doing. We appreciate all five stars if you have enjoyed your experience thus far. And of course, at the end, you can um, it's going to give you the opportunity to enter a little bit of feedback. Just tell us what we're doing or what you particularly like about us, and we'd really appreciate it. Um, it's also going to email you in a couple of days to follow up. So if you wish to um, kind of help us out there, we do appreciate that. I'm going to close it out, though, since this is a demo. Um, but after you order, you're given your order confirmation number. And um, now we can begin configuring our cloud VPS server here at NameHero.com. So I'm going to click continue to the client area. And now I'm going to go into my VPS. So I'm going to click on cloud web hosting. And I'm going to scroll down here. And I'm going to click on alpha.namehero.org and this is my control panel so for those, those of you that may be joining us from one of our partner sites such as YouTube or on our Facebook channel this is part of our VPS 101 course here on namehero.com slash startup purpose of this course is to familiarize you with um, how to set up a VPS and how to best utilize VPS hosting for your business. Um, if you go to namehero.com slash startup, you can register for the course and watch this in a step-by-step -step manner. Now, if you're already on there, then of course you're watching it in a subsequent order. Um, but the purpose of this video is how to actually configure your VPS once you've already um, got it set up. So um, this is the um, control panel right here. And once your VPS is active, you're going to see status running. You might see status building if it's not quite built as soon as you place your order. It takes, sometimes it can take 15, 20 minutes, um, just depending on um, how big of a server you've deployed. Um, as you, your server runs, you'll begin to see bandwidth graphs, um, server load graphs, and also history um, of your full um, VPS. Um, but inside this interface, this is how you can do really important things. Look, you can start the server, you can shut down the server. Um, I really don't recommend using those. Instead, I would like to see you use reboot. If you get something gets hung, you would use the reboot process. WHM is how you access Web Host Manager, which we're going to go to in just a second. Um, cPanel is, of course, your cPanel. Um, and then Restore. This is to actually restore it clean from an image. I don't recommend doing that unless you know what you're doing. Um, the History, which is just a link to show um, all the processes of the server. And then this is where you would access the backups. And then if you end up purchasing some block storage, which is, which is extra space you would access it there. The backups are pretty cool because as your server backs up each night, if you selected that option, you'll be able to configure and restore them uh, from that area. Um, but this is where you have full control over your VPS with us here at Name Hero. If you need a re reboot, you're more than happy to ask our team to do it, but you can control it here because you can actually reboot your server right here from your interface. You don't have to worry about um, you know asking us to go push the power button on the server. Since it's a virtual server in the cloud, you can reboot and control everything right inside of here. Okay. Okay, so to configure this, we need to go into Web Host Manager because we've deployed the server, but now we actually have to configure the server to make it work um, for our, our um, website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Web Host Manager here. And I'm going to be brought to it. Now, it says your connection's not private. Well, that's fine. It's our server. Um, the reason why, it's because we haven't set it up fully yet. So it's going to say that it's not a secure certificate. Just go into the IP address. It is safe, so we're going to proceed. Okay, so now it asks for our username and password. So we're gonna go back over here to our interface and click on login details. You can see our username is root and here's our password. Now this is gonna be our server root password. So we wanna keep this in a secure place. We wanna make sure no one gets this password. Now, even after I complete this video, I'm gonna go ahead and change my root password because no one needs to know your root password. If the, if the wrong evil doer gets this, they can create some pretty big damage really fast. So you never wanna give this out. It's also important because this is stored here, you want to make sure that you enable two-factor authentication on your Name Hero account. And of course, you can ask us if you don't know how to do that, but you just click here. It's under security settings under your name. Okay, so I'm going to go back over here to Web Host Manager. I'm going to enter root. I'm going to enter that password. Click log in. And now I'm in Web Host Manager. So Web Host Manager is your main control panel for your VPS. This is where you pretty much manage and do everything for the server itself. Um, Web Host Manager makes things easy because unlike the old days, you don't have to go SSH in. Um, you don't have to know server configuration or Linux or anything like that. Everything can be done in Web Host Manager. So it makes it extremely easy. So um, here's the agreement, the license terms. I've read this several times, so I'm going to agree to it. Um, if you haven't read it, feel free to do so and then agree. 
Next is a feature showcase. Now these are just features that come with Web Host Manager. Um, you can see here it's, um, it automatically enables these for you or you can disable them, whichever one you want. Um, you can read through each one of these and learn about them. I'm just gonna click save settings and keep the recommended ones. Um, you know, if you wanna configure it and customize it your way, you're more than welcome to. Um, after that's done, you can see we're now in the main web host manager. Um, it says there's an update available, and this is the case many times once you deploy a server, there's some updates, so you can click update now, but there's a couple things that I want to do first, and that's set up our private name servers. So the first thing I want to do is once I get my um, VPS online is go to basic web host manager setup. Okay, um, I like to enter an email address here um, to give us alerts. Now, if you don't want to worry about this, then you can enter ours. You can, um, it's VPS alerts, if I can spell, at namehero.com. And that way our team will get these. And we'll scroll down here to the bottom. And the bottom is where we need to configure these. But let's save that email real quick. Let's go back into here. Okay, so we will need to set up our private name servers because this is the first step to getting our VPS online and our website on our VPS. Um, so remember, when we, when we set up our first video, we said we wanted the prefix to be ns1.namehero.org and ns2. So that's done. So the first thing we need to do is assign an IP address. So I'm gonna go up here to my browser window and this one here is our main server IP. So I'm gonna copy it click configure address records and paste it in the first field here for IPv4. We're not using IPv6 now, so we're gonna ignore that and click configure. The following IP addresses have been assigned. Now after you do this, you have to register this IP address wherever you registered the domain. So this is why I say it's really nice to register your domain with us at Name Hero because we make this simple. If your domain is registered at GoDaddy, if your domain is registered at Namecheap, then you have to follow their directions for registering a private name server. If you have questions, you can ask our team. Our support team will try our be their best to help you. But if your name's registered at Name Hero, it's super easy. So I'm going to go in here and go to my domains. Thankfully, NameHero.org is registered here, so I'm going to click here. And all I have to do is go over here to private name servers on the right, and I have to register a name server. So we make it very easy here at Name Hero. I know GoDaddy, they kind of hide this in the bottom of the control panel. Um, Namecheap does the same thing. They hide it in the way bottom for whatever reason, makes it complicated. Name Hero, we put it right out there. NS1, and then we're gonna paste that IP address. Click Save Changes. That has registered the name server. You can see the name server was successfully registered. Super easy, um, but again, if your name's not registered at Name Hero, sometimes this can be a hard process. Okay, so there's the first one. Now we have to get an IP address for the second one. So what I like to do is type in show IP, and you can see show IP address usage. I'm gonna open it in another window. Go over here, and you can see my second IP is right here. So I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard. Go back here, configure address records. I'm gonna paste it in here. So this is for NS2, click configure address records. Okay, let's go back over to my domain registrar, NS2, and paste it in there, save changes. Now my name servers have been registered. So any domain that I wanna add to my VPS, say I've got 20 domains at GoDaddy and I wanna add them to my VPS, I just have to change the name servers now to ns1.namehero.org and ns2.namehero.org and they're gonna be on my VPS, it's that simple. So I'm gonna to go to name servers here, and I actually wanna change the name servers for namehero.org to its private ones. So we're gonna change this to namehero.org, ns2.namehero.org. Go down here and change name servers. All right, so now we are all set. Our name servers have been registered and they've been configured. Close this out and head back here, close. So that's the most important thing to setting up your VPS initially, is you have to do that because the, the name servers is what connects the VPS to the internet, to your, to your domains. Now, if you're using a third-party DNS provider such as Cloudflare, 
you can do that. You don't have to set up name servers, um, but you have to go through Cloudflare setup process, which I'm not going to cover in this video. I'm gonna, going to assume you're using your own name servers um, for this because most people do. That's, that's one of the benefits to getting a VPS is you have your private name servers all set up for you. Um, and it, it kind of adds an extra layer of being professional because people don't ever see name hero. Okay, the next thing you want to do is add an A entry for your host name. So once you've set up your name servers, you can do this. So I'm just going to type in host, oops, rather A entry. There we go. Add an A entry for your host name. I'm going to click on that, and you're going to see alpha.namehero.org with our main IP. Click add entry, and it's added. Now this this is why this is this way you're. Um, you, you will not you, you will quit getting this um, insecure error at the top once this propagates okay the next thing we need to do is we need to create our account our main website so after you've set up your name servers after you've added your entry for your host name you're ready to create your first um, account and for some reason I'm loading a, a whole separate window here let me refresh here so I just have one frame go back to my get my password. Some things drive me crazy and nothing more than having two frames in one. So I'm going to go back in here and just start from the get-go so I can show you how to add your site. Whoops. Just give me a second here while I grab this root password. There we go. I got a new keyboard and it's um, it makes things a little bit more complicated than they should be when it comes to copying and pasting. Okay, so back inside of here, and you can see we're asked again about the feature showcase. I'm just gonna save the settings, and you can exit or disable, it's up to you. Um, and you can read through each one of those. It's just how you want your server customized. Okay, so now we wanna add our first um, website. Create, create a new account. Um, so our first one is gonna be just our main domain. This is, we, want it, we have to add it now to the server. So namehero.org is our main one. So we're just gonna call it nh.org. Um, I like to use the password generator, so it's strong, because this is actually going to create a child cPanel account. So this is gonna be the main cPanel account for this domain. Copied it, use password. Now you can enter your email if you, um, you don't wanna add this. Now if you are adding for a client, this is important to give this your client's email address so they can have access to that cPanel. So we see a lot of our um, VPS customers are resellers and their customers, um, or they're creating accounts for their customers so that you would add that. Now if you have a hosting package, um, you can choose the package here or you can select the options manually. So if you see over here to the left, add a package, um, you can actually add hosting packages. So if you're a web hosting provider, you can actually add all these values. Since this is my VPS, I'm gonna select, select them manually. So like for instance, disk space, I'm gonna leave that unlimited. If you wanna limit it, you can. Bandwidth, unlimited. I'm just gonna leave everything unlimited, max um, park domains and add-on domains. Since this is my own VPS, I'm just going, and I'm not using this for clients, I'm using this for my own website, I'm just gonna leave everything to unlimited. If I wanna use a dedicated IP, I can uh, for this site. Now remember, I only purchased two, so once I use that, then that will be my only dedicated IP. Um, you can order more, so you can let us know. If you want this account to have shell access, I don't recommend that for security. Um, I like just to keep the shell on the root and, and not to allocate access out. Um, CGI, you want, you want to allow that. Uh, there's only one cPanel theme, it's Paper Lantern. Um, the English language, so I'm gonna keep it at that. Now, if this user, you want them to be a reseller, which we'll talk more about this. If you're watching our VPS Hosting 101, we'll talk more about using our VPS for reselling, um, but we're not going to at this time. Um, but if I wanted to make this a reseller, I would check this here. Um, and now if they are a reseller, do you want them to own its own self? And you could click that if you enable that. DNS, just leave these default if you don't know what they mean especially, but basically this just um, um, improves your email delivery. And so just again, leave it um, if you don't know. Name server, same thing with that. Uh, mail routing settings, um, if you don't know, you can click automatically detect, and that's what I'm gonna do here, um, because I want it to use on the server, so that's how we're gonna do that. Um, and then we can click create. Okay, now my website has been added. Namehero.org is now on the VPS, and I can confirm this by going to list list accounts, and you can see namehero.org. 
So on my VPS, the only website on it right now is namehero.org. And once the DNS propagates, you can see I can access, it says index of, and that's just the basic index. Um, so the fact that now I can go to namehero.org and this comes up, I know I'm ready to start uploading my website. Now this happened really fast for me. It may take up to, um, it may take up to 24 hours for DNS to propagate, depending on where you live. Uh, most of the time in the United States, it's pretty quick nowadays. It doesn't take a full 24 hours. But I always remind people, if, um, you know, if it's not live right away, then go get a cup of coffee, go get some lunch or dinner, and then come back to it. Um, because that can be very frustrating in itself. Um, but now we've um, initially configured our VPS, we've registered the name servers and set them up, we've added our host name, and we've added our first website. So that's our, our initial configuration has been completed. If you've gotten this far, pat yourself on the back. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and then I'm going to continue on with another video to go a little bit more into detail on some things we're going to do to our VPS. Um, but this initial configuration is now finished. Um, you're at a good stopping point right now if you want to do something else for a bit and then finish up later. Um, again, if you're watching this video on YouTube or if you're watching it on our social media, um, I encourage you to go to namehero.com startup and registering for VPS Hosting 101 because we'll have all these videos in one place and make it real easy for you. Um, but thanks so much for watching and thanks for and congratulations for configuring your new VPS server.